We're on the gantry here at the Fujifilm Standout Photography Video Show 2024 here with Andreas. Andreas, you've got two really exciting cameras that have been gathering a lot of interest since they've been announced. Yeah. Uh, which one should we look at first? Let's go Instax, okay. first of all. This is the most recently announced camera. This is probably the most recently announced camera anywhere at the show. This was only announced on Thursday. Okay. So we've got the Instax Mini 99. Yep. Um, which is our premium analog camera. And the beauty of analog and Instax is once you take the picture, that's it. There's only one of them. You can't edit, you can't do anything. And obviously we've all seen some recent stories about editing, but it's beautiful in terms of its look, design. And then for the first time in an Instax camera, what we've got is this color filter mode. Um, and you're able to add retro cool color filter effects. You've got faded green, warm tone, light blue, soft magenta, se um, sepia, and light leak. Uh, it's okay, so we're talking analog photography yeah. here. The obvious question is, and I don't know if you're allowed to tell me, is that if I'm twisting a dial on the top there on an analog camera, how are you affecting that change? And you were opening it up and I can see now, that's fascinating. What happens is as the light goes through the lens, there's some LEDs as well, and they add the additional effect as you're taking the picture. I love that, and I love opening up the back, just like the olden days, and being able to see the workings of the camera. Um, can I just put it in my hand? So it's it's still quite lightweight. Admittedly, there's not a film cartridge in there as well, but it's it's really solid yeah, as well. Yeah, no, no, no. It's really nice. It's um, really modern in terms of the feel of it. It's it's sort of like bang up today in terms of how you handle it and what have you. And as you said, it is a really solid feel. Really exciting, and obviously Instax is has been and continues to be a a runaway success for you at Fuji, Fujifilm. Yeah, and I suppose from, from our perspective, it's making people understand that Instax isn't just about photography, it's about making sure that people enjoy the moment. And analog is the best way to do that, because you take the picture, you move on, you're not there going, oh, did I blink? Did I, oh, my smile was a bit weird, or what have you. You just, that's it. That picture is that moment encapsulated, and you look at it, and that you move on. All right, let's move on now to another camera that uh, was announced Again, relatively recently, but has also really captured the imagination. It's not the first iteration of this. We're on the no. sixth iteration, no. I think, now, aren't we? Um, X100 6, why has this camera got half a million pre-orders and has kind of blown up the internet over the last few weeks? So, I think what's unique about Fujifilm is obviously our passion and our history when it comes to film, okay? And the X100 series just caught the imagination of people in terms of being able to be that digital film camera. So being able to replicate how things should look from a film perspective, but digitally. So the X106 has got all the bells and whistles on it, 40 megapixel sensor, in-body image stabilization, the stunning 23mm f2 lens that everyone has grown up and loves, um, in a very nice, sexy, small package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from the 5, which was very popular with the TikTokers, yeah. I think that you've gone from like a 24 megapixel, 26 megapixel mega, 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 mega pixel sensor to the 40 now, the IBIS in yeah. there as well. Uh, this really fits for me the kind of street photography profile and those things are going to be, the IBIS in particular, maybe shooting at low light is going to be really important for them, offer some new opportunities. Yeah, so, so um, low light nighttime photography using a slower shutter speed the ibis comes into its own yeah. um, but for us it's yes street is where it ticks the box but family lifestyle travel all of that in one camera um just you don't need to think about changing lenses or anything like that you have to rethink how you're taking the pictures in the first place so it is a fixed lens yep. system but you mentioned lenses there you can get some uh adapters that can give you some more opportunities as well. Tell us about those. Yeah, so we do a wide um, conversion lens which screws onto the front. Yep. It tries to do that, so once you take the filter adapter on, you can screw on. It's basically like a magnifying glass that works either the, from a wide perspective or a zooming in perspective. And because you've got the tele, because um, you've got the 40 megapixel, you can actually do a digital teleconverter as well. So even if you don't buy that additional lens, and you still want to zoom in a little bit, you can do that in camera as well. And finally, you mentioned Fujifilm's heritage in film there, the recipes, the ability to really create those looks and to trade those looks online as well. That's something else that's been incredibly popular with uh, a, a big portion of the people who are most interested in this. Yeah, I mean, we, this is our 90th year and we, we started life making cine film in 1934. So 
we've got a huge history when it comes to color, color science, and that's what we're known for. And as you say, people understanding those recipes and going, oh, actually, my digital camera can look like film, and you can obviously uh, tweak it to your heart's content. Um, yeah, it's really resonated with the TikTok and social media generation. Fantastic. Andreas, thank you for stealing these from the stands. Very popular here. Lots of cues, people wanting to get hands on with them. Uh, have a great rest of show. There's lots of things to see and do, I should say, here on the Fujifilm stand, including the kind of Instax um, van behind there, which is uh, very Birmingham themed this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we recently all opened a concession stand in uh, Primark, so just around the corner. In the, in the city centre, so we had the van there, um, so we've obviously made sure that it's uh, kept the Birmingham theme for the NEC. Brilliant. Brilliant to have you in Birmingham with us this week. Thanks again, Andreas. Thanks, Take Cheers. care.